Let's take a look at which one of these fractions, 5 eighths or 3 fourths, is larger. So you could just divide 5 by 8 on your calculator and then compare that to 3 divided by 4 on your calculator. You get two decimals, whichever one's larger, that's the greater fraction. Probably your teacher, though, wants you to look at the denominator to find a common denominator so you then can compare the numerators. So as we look at this here, 4 goes into 8 two times. So I'm just going to multiply 4 times 2 because 4 times 2, that equals 8. Up here, we already have 8, so let's just call this 5 eighths. We won't change anything. So now since we multiplied our denominator down here by 2, we also need to multiply the numerator by 2. That's because 2 over 2 is 1, so we don't change the value just the way it's written. 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 eighths is the same as 3 fourths. They both equal 0 0.75. Now though, we can compare the fractions because we have the same denominator. We look at the numerator and 6, that's greater than 5. So because of that, 6 eighths is greater than 5 eighths, and since 6 eighths and 3 fourths are the same, 3 fourths, that's also greater than 5 eighths. So that's it. This is Dr. V comparing 5 eighths and 3 fourths. 3 fourths is the greater fraction. Thanks for watching.